Hi friends, welcome back to Stoneburner Books YouTube channel. Today I am going to give you a quick overview of the difference between single needle Coptic binding and multi-needle Coptic binding. Uh, I have two examples here. I'm going to start with the single needle. You'll see here the biggest way to tell the difference between single and um, multi-needle is if you look at these end stitches here and here, they look kind of like half braids. The ones here in the middle are more the traditional braided stitch that you think of when you think of Coptic binding. So um, that's one thing to look for in um, single needle. And I will sh I'm gonna show you in a minute how to set up both single needle and um, double needle. The big thing that you need to know is the functionality of the books are not different at all between the two. It's more the binding technique is really what is set apart. Now this is a, um, let's see that was upside down. This is a multi-needle. So the main differences here, you can see that all of the threads have nice braids. And then also you can alternate colors of your threads. So that's one thing you can't do with your single needle. So um, again, it still functions just like the other book. Both of them um, lie flat really nicely, but just a little bit of an aesthetic thing. Um, it does take a little bit longer and more materials to bind the multi-needle one. Um, but let me show you how to get things set up here for single needle first. Um, so I have, I'm using my floppy disks for my floppy disk notebooks. I've got all my signatures already punched with the holes and I have my single piece of waxed linen thread, um, and my one curved needle. Now I recommend curved needles with your Coptic binding. You can do it with a straight needle, but it is really hard to do. Um, so for getting it set up, you take your first signature and we're gonna um, sew through and basically attach the first, the front cover to that first signature with a knot. So the very first step is getting it tied on. So this is what the outside looks like at this point. And then on the inside, we wanna tie our knot to hold everything in, in place until, oh, like as we're sewing along. Okay, so now that that is tied, we're gonna sew the first signature to the cover and then we'll continue to build up as we go along. So I'm just gonna sew this first signature to show you um, how that looks um, with attaching the covers. And then I'm gonna switch over and show you how to set up a multi-needle um, binding and you can kind of see how the different how it is a little bit different. I do have a full tutorial on multi-needle Coptic binding and I will link it here. And uh, if you think, if you'd be interested in seeing a single needle Coptic binding, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to make one if you think, if that's something that you'd like to see more of. So with this one, with just the one needle, you're going to each hole, you're sewing through, um, the cover, looping it around, securing it, and then moving on to the next hole. With the multi-needle, you'll see that you're doing um, multiple holes at the same time uh, for sewing them. So it is a little bit different of a rhythm for binding that book. All right, so 
then once you're done with this one, you'll pick up your next signature and you'll sew through this hole here and then continue to attach them. Um, one big difference with the single needle versus the multiple needle in the bind, actual binding, so say I've bound everything, when I attach my last cover, I'm actually attaching the back cover and the last signature at the same time. And that can be really tricky. That is for sure one thing that I struggled with when I was starting out learning Coptic binding. And with multi-needle Coptic binding, you don't have that issue because you attach your last signature just how you attach any of the other signatures. And then you attach the um, back cover at a, a separate point. So, um, this one is a little bit more tricky. Um, let me show you how to set up a multi-needle one. Okay, so this is my next book here that I'm working on. Again, I've got my um, covers punched with the holes and I've got all my signatures punched as well. Then I have, I have one piece of waxed linen thread here, but it's got a needle on each end and then I have a second piece of waxed linen thread. And again, it's got a needle on each end of the thread. So getting the first signature set up, take it and we're gonna flip it like this. Okay, so with the first signature, you're gonna put a needle through each hole. So you start with one pair, one thread and pair of needles. And so you're gonna sew these two holes kind of together. Sometimes the, the needles are gonna go back and forth um, as you're binding, but you're not gonna cross these threads with the ones that are gonna be over here. Okay, so we've got that entered in. So this is the part that is tricky is when you are first starting your binding, you've got really long threads and you're trying to keep them from getting tangled. So I do try to like keep everything kind of pulled down and straight or either, you know, out to the side a little bit to help. Um, so we've got our thread through our first signature and then we're going to attach our cover by sewing through and then bringing it out to the side. And we're gonna do that for every stitch, or every hole. And we'll tighten it up once we get them all in. So once they're all in loosely, I like to make sure that my signature is lined up with the end sheets where I want it and with the spine here as well. And then I hold it in place and gently tighten these. And then I flip it over to the front cover and I make sure that my um, stitches are straight and then I really do the final um, tightening of it. Okay, and then you can see the, the strings are getting tangled. So that is really one of the drawbacks of the multi-needle is that it you get this whole big thing of needles and thread and it can be a little bit um, annoying, but you'll get used to it. I mean, that was definitely my biggest struggle when I first started this technique was just keeping the strings from getting all tangled up. But it does produce a... a more aesthetically pleasing result. So it's all a trade-off. <laughs> um, okay, so to finalize attaching this uh, cover, you're gonna do a little loop and then put pull through here. And we're just gonna do that for all of them. And then you go on to attaching your next signature. Um, and ha like I said earlier, you're gonna attach the same, the signatures in a similar pattern all the way through and then as well as to the back uh, cover. So 
you can see already that we're starting to, this is like the anchor of where our braids are going to go. Um, and it is, again, a little bit tricky because you're doing essentially four times the amount of work instead of just sewing through, sewing, looping it around, moving to the next hole, looping it around. Um, I'm going to attach, I think, one more signature so you can see how you have to cross them in between, in the inside, um, cross the threads. But again, I have a full tutorial of this on my YouTube channel, so you can see it there if you want to get the full details. Okay. So, you would take the thread that's in this hole and you're going to sew it right into the one right above it. same for this okay and then what you do is you tighten these down and then you're gonna crisscross them here inside and sew back out through the other hole here okay so again, checking to make sure that my signature is lined up where I want it and that this is tightened down. There's not a lot of excess on the inside. And then you close it up and you sew a little loop again. And that's what's making the braid. So you go through down here and sew up. Now, if I were using two different color threads, this is where you would start to see the patterning of the braided colors um, alternate, but I'm using just a plain um, thread because that's what I wanted for this the look of this book. But you can see that it is starting to build those braids. Let's see here. Right, oops, right there. And so you just keep attaching it in that same way. So that is a very quick overview of the differences. Um, you can see there's just a lot, a lot more work to the multi needle, but it is, you know, it gives you a, a much different result. So if you have questions or you'd like to see the single needle, a full tutorial of that, please make sure to drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can see more of my tutorials. Have a great day.